Hi, I'm Thomas Ault. I'm out at the Southwest Purdue Ag Center to meet with Valerie Klingerman, Purdue Extension Ag and Natural Resources Educator in Knox County, to talk about weeds and their management. We're going to be discussing problematic pigweeds in Indiana, and we're going to primarily focus today on um, water hemp and palmer amaranth. Now we do have red root pigweed as well, but it's generally not as big of an issue. Um, and also red root pigweed has a lot of hairs on it, so it's a little bit easier to identify. But we're going to focus on water hemp first. Common water hemp um, is definitely a major issue, especially you get into flooded areas. Um, it is a summer annual, so it germinates in the spring and completes its life cycle by fall. Um, it reproduces, it produces tons and tons of seeds, so that's why it's important to control this before it sets seed. Um, so common water hemp does not have any hair on it. It has very smooth, waxy leaves, and there's an indentation at the tip of the leaves. And this is a common IDing factor for all pigweed species. When we compare that to Palmer amaranth, a lot of times there, there is a lot of confusion because once again, there are no hairs on this plant. Um, and it has that indentation at the leaf tip. So the key identifying characteristic um, to distinguish Palmer amaranth from common water hemp is looking at the leaf petiole. And the petiole is the part, uh, this part right here, that connects the leaf to the stem of the plant. And what you do is you fold this petiole up um, along the leaf. As you can see, the palmer amaranth's petiole is longer than the leaf blade, whereas the water hemp's petiole is much shorter than the leaf blade. Now it's important to be able to identify these two weeds because palmer amaranth um, general control recommendations is that as soon as you see it, you need to control it because it can grow um, two inches a day and so it can grow very fast and produce seeds very fast. Water hemp grows a little bit slower. You might have a little bit more time, um, but still control options are pretty similar. Um, both of them have a tendency to be glyphosate and ALS resistant. Um, so using some of the, the PPO herbicides are recommended for these, um, these weeds. Um, water hemp in some parts of southwest Indiana have also been documented to be PPO resistant though. So make, the key is understanding your weed population. Um, that way you can control it and uh, to the best of your ability. Didn't find the weed you were looking for? Check the links below for more Purdue Extension related weed information. Again, I'm Thomas Alt. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click that like button.